in the atlas is one of the 11 finger lakes it's the fourth largest of the lakes it is 16 miles long and about two miles wide huh long skinny water right now when you get that we're on the north side here the village is up north so you go down to the south side you get down about seven or eight miles down the water the bottom drops down to about 320 feet it's really really deep so this this lake is very clean in fact it is the cleanest of all the finger lakes and is considered to be in the top 20 cleanest bodies of water in the united states that's how clean it is it's also very high in altitude of all the 11 finger lakes it's the highest of all the finger lakes hence why it's so clean you don't have land that's located several bodies of water higher to pollute the lake with runoff. So it stays very clean. And it's spring fed, we got a lot of water, aquifers. And of course when it rains, all the it's just the hills that, that you get the runoff, there's no large tributaries that come into this water. So that is why the city of Syracuse wanted this water supply so badly. Back in the um, 18, late 1800s, the city of Syracuse's water supply was killing people. You know, all these waterborne diseases, and, you know, so it was bad, it was really bad. So they came in and they got the water rights from here. So it took them three years to build the pipeline. They completed it in 1893. And once the pipeline was completed, the 20 mile pipeline, and it didn't go straight and it wasn't level, but it got there. All they had to do was open the floodgates. And Mother Nature took care of the rest. Gravity, this lake is 400 feet above the city of Syracuse. Figure all this water pushing down, and that water just came through the pipes, no problem. And that's how it gets there to this day, in the tune of about 38 million gallons every day. So that's a lot of water. So you guys know about the Sherwood Inn, right? The Sherwood? The Sherwood is catering your dinner tonight, by the way. The food's gonna be delicious. So the Sherwood was built in the mid-1800s by Isaac Sherwood. It is the second oldest continuously operating hotel in the state of New York. Now, Mr. Sherwood built the Sherwood Inn as a support for his main business, which was a stagecoach line. And that ran between Syracuse and Buffalo. Luckily for Mr. Sherwood, there were also other stagecoach businesses that ran between Albany and Buffalo. So they ran right by the Sherwood. Of course, that is now Route 20, right? But that used to be a dirt road. So you can just imagine Let's say you were traveling from Syracuse to Rochester, for example. And it was a summer day like today. So you'd get in the stagecoach in Syracuse. Didn't take very long before you were on that dusty road doing six and a half miles an hour, bouncing up and down in this hot, sweaty stagecoach. And you figure after a couple hours in the stagecoach, things were heating up pretty good in there. No air conditioning, right? And you're starting to smell pretty good too. Yeah. So were all the other people in there with you. So you can imagine what that was like. Oh, and then the horse that they chose to pull your stagecoach, his name was Rusty. Oh, Rusty. Oh, made things worse, right? So by the time you got to the Sherwood and Skinny Atlas, many, many, many hours later, you were ready to get the heck out of that stagecoach get a room, have a bath, a meal, a bed, and then get back in the stagecoach the next day to finish your journey. 